One of the most common complaints we get from customers has to do with moldy kombucha scobies. People buy a kombucha tea starter set from us, start following the instructions included on our website, and then email us reporting mold in their kombucha tea just a few days or weeks later. Now, to be honest, this complaint about mold baffles us to no end. Literally, there is no end to our bafflement. Why? Well, to put it frankly, it's because we've never seen a moldy scoby. Never. Let's put that into perspective, shall we? Down in Posey Mom HQ, in our very sophisticated kombucha growing laboratories, we grow about 500 kombucha scobies every week. And we've been doing this for over three years. After fermenting thousands upon thousands of jars of kombucha tea, you'd think we would have seen more than our share of mold, right? But that's just the thing. Not one of our kombucha scobies has molded. Ever. Not. One. So how is it, we ask ourselves, that so many people talk about the mold problem of kombucha tea when we ferment kombucha by the ton and never see a single spot of mold? Well, we have a few ideas, but the biggest one is this. In 99% of cases, we believe what you see as mold, wait for it, isn't mold at all. That's right. If you think your kombucha scoby is growing mold, more than likely, it's actually a false alarm. But wait, you say, I know mold when I see it, and my scoby looks totally gross. Well, there's a big difference between something looking gross and something being moldy. And let's face it, kombucha tea can look pretty gross sometimes. We have to remember that when you buy a kombucha tea starter set, or any other kind of probiotic product, you're basically adopting a new pet, something you have to feed and take care of. And not a cute pet either, like a puppy. Kombucha is a culture of both yeast and bacteria. In fact, that's what SCOBY stands for in the first place, Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. And what is yeast? Yeah, it's that stuff that makes bread rise, but it's also in the fungus family. That means yeast and mold are practically kissing cousins. And while we're at it, bacteria doesn't exactly look pretty either. Yep, like I said, your kombucha is ugly. So when people say their kombucha is moldy, they may just mean their scoby is gross looking. So how do you know if something gross is mold or not? Well, keep in mind that the kind of mold you could possibly get in your kombucha is the same strain of mold that's common in other places in the kitchen, like the stuff growing on last week's leftovers in the back of the fridge. This common kitchen mold is likely to be a bluish or greenish color. It also grows little hairs on it. You know what I'm talking about. So, does your scoby have little blue hairs growing on it? If not, it's probably, almost certainly, not mold. Probably. If your kombucha looks especially nasty, it's best to wait a few days before proclaiming it as moldy. In many cases, what looked like mold at first turns out to be nothing more than plain old ugly kombucha culture. In other cases, actual mold may start to grow in the tea. But as the kombucha culture grows stronger and populates the tea, the mold will get strangled out and disappear. So the basic rule here is to be patient. Don't pull the mold trigger too early. Just wait and see what happens. If you're really nervous about your ugly kombucha, you can go to one of many very active kombucha growers communities online and post a photo of your tea there. Seasoned growers have learned to look past the nasty appearance of kombucha and can help you see if what you have is really mold or not. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right about now. How do I prevent mold from growing in my kombucha in the first place? And if I'm absolutely 100% sure I have mold in my tea right now, what can I do about it? We'll answer both of those questions in parts 2 and 3 of this video series. Until then, thanks for watching, and stay healthy and proud.